let's take a look at how xplay can be used to initiate a sequence of actions with just one click. I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and power off, reduce the memory, and power a VM back on. Let's go ahead and take a look. From the Prism Central console, we're going to need to go ahead and navigate to Playbook so we can set up a rule to do this. And we're going to choose the manual trigger. And we would like to initiate this action on a VM, so let's leave VM here. Now let's add those actions I mentioned. We need to power off the VM. We could use a variety of options here, but let's just do a hard power off. Now let's add that reduce memory action that I talked about. We can scroll down here and look at all the actions we have, and there is the VM reduce memory action. Let's reduce the memory by one gigabyte, and let's set a minimum to two gigabytes. And last, we'll go ahead and add a power on VM action. And all these actions will be taken on whichever VM we trigger this playbook on. Now we can just go ahead and name the playbook, enable it, and save it. Now we can go ahead and run this playbook. Let's switch over to the VM's view, which is where we'll be able to trigger this playbook. We could go ahead and select one or multiple VMs, but for the sake of this demo, let's just select one. We need to go to the Actions menu and click the Run Playbook option. Here we could see any playbooks that could be triggered. At this time, it's just this one. So let's go ahead and trigger it. And we can see in the upper right corner that the tasks have been initiated. Let's initially look at the memory capacity at 4 gigabytes. As these tasks go on, we'll see that it's going to go ahead and reduce this back down to 3 gigabytes. All right, it looks like that's successfully completed and we can see the VM is also powered on. Now, let's just take a deeper look here. We can confirm again, yes, the VM is powered on. Let's go ahead and switch to the plays view, which is where we can go ahead and take a look at what actually happened here. And we can see a summary of those actions that were taken and it looks like they all succeeded. Great. Using XPlay, we were able to make these manual repetitive actions available in just a single click. And it's so simple, we were able to set that up in just a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching.